Hey friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to talk about how we can compare fractions. And as we do that, we're going to be using models to help us to be able to see the difference between those fractions and to see which, one's, which one is larger and which one is smaller. So our learning goal for today says, I can compare fractions with the same numerator pictorially. So friends, pictorially just means draw a picture, right? So you almost see the word picture kind of in pictorially. So we're going to talk about all of our fractions today. The numerator on the top, that number, is going to be the same. So it could be two-fifths, two-fourths, two-sevenths, two-tenths. They're all going to have the same numerator, but we really have to pay attention to that model to help us see what is those two parts representing. So the materials that you'll need for this lesson are your dry erase board. So make sure you grab that before we get started. All right, friends, we're going to start with our application problem. Okay, it says, LaTanya has two equal-sized hot dogs. She cut the first one into thirds at lunch. Later, she cut the second hot dog to make double the number of pieces. Draw a model of LaToya's hot dogs. So we have to solve two parts with this. So first you draw your model. And then A is saying how many pieces is the second hot dog cut into? And part B is if she wants to eat two-thirds of the second hot dog, how many pieces should she eat? So let me give you a little bit of a heads up. So remember we talked about in our previous lessons, like if we have um, halves and we want to double the number of pieces, we would cut it again. Right? We would cut each part in half again, cut each part into two. That's going to give us double. Another tip is for solving part B, think about how we can use equivalent fractions to help you solve that. Okay, so pause the video, solve this problem, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so first we're going to look at, she cut the first one into thirds. So here's my first hot dog she cut it into thirds, right? So we have three equal parts. The next part says she cut the second hot dog to make double the number of pieces. So here's my second hot dog. Well, she had thirds, but she made double. So that means we have to cut each piece into two. So now I have double. The first one is three parts. The first hot dog is three parts. And the second hot dog is six parts. So we doubled our unit for those. Then we're going to come over to part A where it says how many pieces of the second hot dog or how many pieces is the second hot dog cut into? Well for that one we just have to count how many parts that we have in the second hot dog and we can say that the second hot dog is cut into six pieces. Then we can go to part B where it says if she wants to eat two-thirds of the hot second hot dog how many pieces should she eat? So this is where we can use that equivalent fraction. So let's shade in two-thirds on the first hot dog, okay? Because we know that the second dog, hot dog is going to be two-thirds of that first hot dog. So we can kind of use the equivalent fraction to help us and shade as much as the two-thirds is. So we can shade all the way across. Oh, and now we're at the same as two-thirds. So here I have four-sixths. Two-thirds and four-sixths are equivalent fractions. So I can say that she would eat four-sixths of it, which that means four pieces. Okay, so now we're going to take our work that we just did with our application problem. We're going to help it um, use that to talk about our next part of our problems. Okay, so let's look again at the models from LaToya's hot dogs, LaTanya's hot dogs. Change the problem Let's change it slightly. So we're going to change it just a little bit. So what if LaTanya eats two pieces of each hot dog? Figure out what fraction of each hot dog she eats. So because we're going to change this, you need to take your drawings and they need to go bye bye because we're going to change this. We just need to know the parts that it's already divided into. Okay. So you're going to pause the video. You're going to shade in those two pieces for each hot dog and figure out what fraction of hot dog each hot dog she eats and label that. And then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. So she ate two pieces from the first hot dog and two, oh, which is two thirds. 
and she eats two pieces from the second hot dog, which we know is two-sixths. Did Latani eat the same amount of the first hot dog and the second hot dog? Nope, she sure didn't. But she ate two pieces of each hot dog, so why is the amount she ate different? Why is the amount she ate different? Think about that. Pause if you need some time to think. Well, the number of pieces she ate is the same, but the size of each piece is different. So remember, the more you cut up the whole, the smaller the pieces get. And then so eating two pieces of thirds is more hot dog than two pieces of sixths. So just because they both ate two, you can't compare those by just looking at the numerator. So we have to be able to draw a model to help show pictorially which one is more or which one is less. Oh, okay. So friends, we're going to do a problem with pizza. See, I love pizza so much. It's delicious. Okay, so you're going to draw these two pizzas on your board. So I know it's not as delicious looking as a real pizza, but just pretend in your mind. So just draw two circles and notice how mine are the same size. They need to be the same size to be able to compare. Okay, so then you're going to estimate to partition both pizzas into fourths. Okay, but remember, look at this guy right here. There are four parts, but wah, 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 they're not equal. So remember, they have to be equal to be able to consider a two partition for, for our fraction, okay? So pause the video, label or draw both circles and split them into fourths. And then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so here's my fourths. We're gonna partition the second pizza into double the number of units. So right now it's in four units. You need to double it. So pause the video, just your second pizza. You're gonna partition it to double the number of units. Think about how we've done that in our previous problems. And then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, so here, I can partition each one into two, right? Cut it into two. And now I have the double the number of units. So what units do we have now? We have fourths and eighths. You got it. So we're going to shade three fourths and three eighths and then label the fraction for the shaded parts. So pause the video, shade three fourths and three eighths, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. Oh, don't forget, label your fractions too. Okay. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so here's my three-fourths and here's my three-eighths. Which shaded portion would you rather eat? The fourths or the eighths and why? Oh. Well, you know what, friends? I can tell you right now, I love pizza. You can see that picture down there. I love pizza, so I would rather eat the fourths because the pieces are bigger, so I'm going to eat more. But then, you know what? Mr. Walker, I don't think, loves pizza as much as I do, so he's probably going to eat the eighths because he wants to have smaller pieces, and that will give him less to eat. But both choices are three pieces, Aren't they equivalent? Nope, they sure aren't. So fourths are larger. We know the because, or we know that because the more times you cut the hole, the smaller the pieces get. The number of pieces we shaded is the same, but the sizes of the pieces are different. So the shaded amounts are not equivalent. So you can't just look and say, they, oh, they both have three parts. That doesn't mean they're equivalent. So draw those models to have a pictorial representation of our fractions, and then you can decide which one is greater or smaller. 
All right, so, oh, there's some cookies and milk. Let's look at this problem. It says, Hayden and Tegan like to drink milk when they have cookies. Their cups are the same size. Hayden drinks four-sixths of her milk, and Tegan drinks four-fifths of her milk. Who drinks the least amount of milk? Draw a picture to support your answer. All right, so here we have Hayden and Tegan. Okay, so I would like for you guys, oops, I'd like for you guys to pause the video, draw out your model for Hayden's four-sixths of her milk and Tegan's four-fifths of her milk, and then I want you to figure out who drinks the least amount of milk. So pause the video, draw your model, answer the question, solve the question, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause a few more time. Okay, so we know that Hayden is four-sixths, so we can partition that into sixths. We could say one, two, three, four parts. And then we know that Tegan has four-fifths. She drinks four-fifths of her milk. So we can split that into fifths. And then she's going to drink four parts of it. Now, go back to our question. It says, who drinks the least amount of milk? Remember, for this one, they're asking for least. So the smallest amount of milk would be Hayden drinks the least amount of milk because you can see with our picture that even though they both drank four parts of their milk, Hayden's parts were smaller, so that caused her to have the least amount of milk that she drank. Okay, so awesome job with that one, friends. All right, nice work. Great job comparing fractions with the same numerator pictorially. So make sure today, friends, when you go work on your problem set that you are drawing out those models. And also remember that the models have to be the same size. So if you're drawing a rectangle, they have to start and stop at the same point. And you want to stack them on top of each other to be able to see the difference. Okay? All right. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.